Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice brisk 35 degrees out this morning. Feels good. Come outside, it wakes you up. The ducks are quiet. I don't know if you saw the video the other day when I came out and I'm doing my intro and the ducks are like flying right behind me. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll put a link to it right here. It was definitely kind of crazy. I've never seen the ducks act that way before. Good morning, girls. Good morning. You gotta get off the gate so I can open it. There you go. The girl's ready for a little chaff hay. There you go. You get your own hay. You don't need to eat theirs. I don't know why the camera's making it look so dark in here. Usually it's the opposite. But right now it looks pretty black. It's not like that. I was just checking this morning and seeing when we're gonna change our clocks back. As I was like, man, it gets stays dark way too late in the morning. In two more weeks, we're gonna change our clock back. The weekend of November 3rd and the 4th. So that means be able to get up and do the morning chores a little bit earlier. You ready to come out? She's like, nope, I wanna see if there's any more in there. You ate it all, I'm telling you, you ate it all. been so windy lately I'm sorry for all the wind noise it's the first thing the goats love to do after milking is come out and search for some apples there can't be too many left this apple tree right here lost two good sized branches the other day in one of the wind storms It's snowing out again. We're gonna be having snowball fights before you know it. Oh, I hate to think it's already time for these, but man. Put these on Gina's cut. On Gina's Subaru, we run studded Nokian snow tires. They're a softer rubber so they can grab the cold tar and get good grip, and then the studs are really good for stopping on ice. What are you up to, mister, huh? When we were coming back from church, I noticed that the chickens aren't anywhere to be seen. Uh, I hope they're just inside New York City, because it's cold. Wait, I see one, I see two. Oh, they're all under New, <laughs> look at that. What are you ladies doing? You had me scared. Where's Moose? I wonder if there was an aerial predator around. That's why they were hiding under New York City. You can come out, Moose. I bet there was a hawk or something flying around. They're pretty smart. You got snow all over you, mister. It's cold out. Yeah, it's cold. <sighs> I got scared there for a minute when I didn't see any chickens. Whew. We whipped up vegetable soup for lunch. Yummy, yummy, with yummy noodles. Yeah, she's got the noodles cooking. What did I put in here? Carrots, corn, broccoli, and mushrooms. And what? And mushrooms. 
Just for you. Ah. We're really fancy here. We are fancy. <laughs> It'll be delicious. I just mean how we serve stuff. Oh. Just like, here's a pan, here's a... Hey. Oh, so I went out. All the chickens were hiding under New York City. Was it so cold? Oh, that's what I was going to say. It was 60 degrees yesterday. It's 60 yesterday, yeah. Crying in a sweatshirt. Hot. Warm sometimes. Yeah. And that. today, it's snowing. Yeah. Can you see the snow on the outdoor kitchen's roof? Man. 60 degrees out yesterday, and today it's snowing. <laughs> Look at Gina's car. So yesterday our friend Morgan came over, I'll put a link to that video right here, and we planted some chestnuts and some butternut trees. I need to mulch them. If I don't do it now, I'm gonna forget. They're just little bitty trees, so they're hard to see. I already feel like I need to be wearing gloves today. Now chestnuts and butternuts both produce nuts that we can eat and animals can eat. I wanted to plant trees here for a while, but I just never know where I can plant them that I won't mow them with the Kubota. So how I picked the location for these trees is right here. I can't mow with the Kubota because it's all rocks. So I put them as close to the rocks as I could, 
thinking that they should be safe from the Kubota, or I should remember they're here. And it's also a swale, a natural swale, so we get a lot of runoff from the road. It comes down here, and this is a pretty wet area, so that should really help with the trees. There. This way I know they at least will survive the first mowing by the Kubota. They're not very tall. I'm gonna have to mark them with something. So come springtime, I don't mow them down. Oh. Snow! Oh. out the trunk to put stuff in it. Ah. You girls want an afternoon snack? I know the goats do, but they don't need anything else. Feed you right here. I guess Mima and Grandpa had pancakes this morning for breakfast, because we brought some home for you. Every time we go to Gina's parents, we usually end up coming home with some kind of leftover. I bet the pigs like it. A little treat for them. Right now they get to have pancakes for an afternoon snack. And I think I smelt maple syrup on them. So I bet you they're gonna enjoy that. Plus all the other stuff we had left over for making a soup. What are you doing? Where's your buddy? Where's the other one? Every week we try to plan out what we're having for breakfast and then make a big batch of it. This week we're doing cornbread. We haven't had cornbread in a while. Yeah, cornbread. It'll be like a corn muffin but in a loaf instead of a muffin. Got to switch it up every once in a while, Lizzie.
we like to use an avocado oil, whatever it calls for vegetable oil. Looks good. Trying. They look good. Hopefully they taste as good as they look. Not good. Mm. That's so hot. Do you want it on your rice from the side? Where do you want it? Bring your plate over, please. What kind of stir fry is this? Gina makeup. Gina makeup. <laughs> Looks good. Smells delicious. I just want to encourage everybody to get in your kitchen and just try making some improv two meals. We did two of those on Sunday because we didn't know what to have for lunch, didn't know what to have for dinner, so we just kind of went into our pantry, our refrigerator, and just let just tried something new. And both the meals came out great. They were delicious. And not only that, we got to spend more time together with each other just making the delicious meals that we could enjoy later on, sit down and talk over. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.